work through this first, get through the emergency portion, and then we'll evaluate where we are. The mayor of Sandy vows to fix the city's contaminated drinking water problem. Welcome to Midday. I'm Brian Carlson. And I'm Emily Clark. The water issues in Sandy have caused Canyon School District to take some extra steps to keep students safe. ABC 4's Jason Wynn is live at Altera Elementary School. And Jason, the district is waiting on independent lab results. Any word on them? That's right, Emily. I just got off the phone with a representative from Canyon School District and the water results came back and they are normal. So students over here at Alta, El, Altera Elementary, Alta High School and Sunrise Elementary can go back to drinking their water, but that's going to have to wait until tomorrow. Derek Power walks his daughter Delaney to Altera Elementary School in the mornings. Lately, he's been concerned over the Sandy City water crisis. He says his comfort lies within the Canyon School District, keeping his daughter safe. It kind of makes you nervous when that sort of thing happens in your neighborhood. So to, to have them reach out, take the extra precautions, and then communicate it well in advance of the kids going to school means a lot. Altera Elementary, Sunrise Elementary, and Alta High School all lie in the zone where people could not consume Sandy City water. The city notified the school district and the majority of the public on Friday, February 15th, 10 days after Mayor Kurt Bradburn says the city knew a well broke nearby. That order was lifted Sunday night. I can assure them that we're going to do our best to keep your kids safe, that we are bringing in the water, that Sandy City is going to continue to to test our water, that we're doing independent tests of the water just to make sure that they're safe. The district says all of the pipes at the three schools have been flushed. Each school placed bags over water fountains to protect students from drinking the water. Water bottles have been brought in by the pallet and the meals were prepared off site and brought in for students to eat. This all welcoming news to parents like power. We really appreciated that and also the communication. Now we spoke again to the representatives at Canyon School District. They say students should know that they're going to go back to school tomorrow and it's going to be business as usual. Those same representatives, they're going to be at Sandy City Council meeting tonight to talk to parents that need any type of information regarding those test results. They say they'll be there at the beginning of the meeting starting at 515 at Sandy City Hall. I'm Jason Wynn, live in Sandy City, ABC4 News.